The next basic position that we'll do some finishes off is when our opponent's weight is inside the supporting leg. So what we're saying is that I was unable to manipulate his weight such that I could get his weight to the out, directly over his foot or slightly to the outside. Instead, now his weight is inside the supporting foot. Now, there's a couple of movements I can do or a couple of finishes that I can do here. I'm going to show the dump first. It's a very common move in wrestling, um, and that's basically why I'm going to show it. It's relatively effective in this situation. I frankly don't use it a lot because anytime I can, I want to make sure my head is up and my hips are low as opposed to bringing my head down too low. And that makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable with that type of, uh, of a finish. On the other hand, if it's executed properly, it's a, reasonable, uh, a reasonably high percentage type finish. Now, this works best if, again, as I mentioned, my opponent's weight is to the inside. What am I trying to do with the basic dump? Basically, I'm going to try to stretch him out even further. If his weight is here, I'm going to try to make it even more inside. Okay? I'm going to do that by keeping the weight down. If I don't keep the weight down and I just try to bring him down, he's going to keep jumping around. I'm in on the single leg. I'm sagging down, keeping the weight down. I notice that his weight is inside here. Typically, if it's inside, he's pushing in this direction towards me. He's going to be fighting because I've been trying to get his weight over so I can do some of the other techniques we went over a moment ago. He's not letting me. He's pushing in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump him onto his behind by putting his behind further away from his foot. I'm going to do that in this manner here. Now, let me break this down a bit. I have the single leg up. His weight is supported on one leg. And in this situation, he's pushing into me. He might be fighting against me because maybe his hips are a little bit further into me. He's in a little bit better position than he was before. I cannot dump him down if I just bring him in a circular motion. So one thing that's critical is that as I dump, the weight goes down. I need to keep weight heavy on him so that he just doesn't continue to keep that foot underneath him. So if I can keep the weight down here, it makes it much more difficult as I circle and keep my chest pressure down on his thigh for him to be able to respond by jumping or by hopping. My goal is if he beat me in this position here, is his position is best if his weight's just a little bit inside. What I want to do when I do the dump is to bring his weight further to the inside. I do that by jamming the weight down here so that he can't adjust and keep his weight over that foot or only slightly to the inside where he can fight me better. I keep the weight here heavy and I'm going to circle and I'm going to take his hip farther inside. As I do that, my chest pressure down will put his behind down farther and farther away from his supporting leg as far as I can get it. The weight is down. I'm going to step with my front foot first, my rear foot circles, and I come down. The next thing that helps with this type of technique is as I circle and bow, notice I'm not just bowing with my upper body, I'm lowering my hips too because I don't want to get my head below my hips or too close to my hips as far as hip level is concerned. The next thing is the more I pull his leg in, that'll pull his hips out even further away from 
his point of balance here. So I don't want to just keep his leg out and push down. I'm going to pull it in, which will, again, create more distance with his weight inside his supporting leg. The final thing is it's crucial that I try to keep my head position as best I can, as high as I can on his chest. I would prefer that than keeping my head down here and doing that type of a dunk. Because if I keep my head in his chest, where is his upper body? I can keep manipulating his upper body so that it's back as he goes around. Whereas if my head is too low towards his abdomen, here, I can't do that as effectively. I'm not saying that without a couple of those points, you might not be able to get the dunk to work. But if you combine all that together effectively, you're more likely to be successful. So when I get in this position, if I want my head up high, he beat me. I'd much prefer if I could come into here, for example, to attack that. But he beat me there. He, he's got his weight inside. He might be turning his hips. He's fighting me more effectively. So if this is his best position here, he's most comfortable, I want to take him out of it by keeping the weight down and pulling his weight inside even further. He's not quite as effective fighting me in this position as he will be right here. I want to keep my weight pressed into his chest so as I step around, I can help him down with my head in his chest. Again, I think that's a relatively effective technique. Quite frankly, for me, I prefer other type of techniques because I have some uncomfortability trying to get my head down, especially given the type of defense that I do. But this is something that if you practice it and you can kind of remember those various components of the technique can be quite effective, but only when the weight's inside. For example, if his weight is straight up and down, it's very difficult, or it's more difficult at least, for me to shift his weight to the inside here. And it's more efficient for me to come through either grabbing, coming to the outside, or tripping behind. So be aware that that position is most effective when the weight is inside as opposed to over the supporting leg. Now one additional point about the dump. This is a technique that not only works best and is most appropriate when your opponent's weight is inside, it also works best as your opponent's hips are slightly inside. If, your hip, if his hips are either pointed away, which they usually aren't because they can't defend against you very well, but, or just more towards the side, this is a little bit more difficult uh, of a position. I, the ideal position to identify a dump in is weight inside and hips slightly, slightly facing towards you, which is what's going to happen typically if his weight is inside because he's going to face you to try to defend, for example, with a wizard, hand fight, or whatever.